Welcome back, guys. So let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. I'm Karis 64 blah, blah, blah. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on... Let's see. Let me do a random. Bakura. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Bakura Ryo. As the decks appear to be ready, let us begin without further ado. Alright. Now, I believe Bakura is a bit hard to beat in this in this game. Because I, th I think he's got Destiny board. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong. Alright, let's just... Dark Elf, yep. Trap Hole. Yeah, unlike the last two opponents, this Bakura uses trap cards and magic cards. Um, yep, go figure. Sure, I anticipated that. So you get a direct attack. Ah, uh, complete my turn. What is he gonna do now? Calling dragon shit, he took it out. Yeah, he uses zombies in this, I believe. Um, Bones, Bonds uses zombies in later games. I hope he doesn't summon anything stronger than that. Alright, he takes 500 points of damage. Two-headed King Rex. Uh, I'm going to take out his, I, I don't know the name of the card. Alright, so he's going to join me. Yeah, that sucks. Plum King, the King of Ghosts. Alright, what are we going to do now? What's this? Okay. Could use that earlier. Alright. Uh why would he summon another monster that week? I don't understand that. Um Let's just take out that weak monster. I know he's gonna take out, um... Alright, so basically the game now is to see who's gonna take out the most, um... You, you guys will see it, it's kinda hard to explain. Alright, I'm gonna destroy his trap card on the field. Okay, I'm doing this black pendant. Uh, let's take that out again. Big insect should take out his uh, fiend's hand. Oh, now it's just coming down to the wire, really. Uh, okay, then we needed that. Alright, that was probably the better idea to go after his weaker monster than a stronger monster. Oh wow, go figure. Okay, we did that. That was good, that was good, that was good. Enter battle phase. Take it out by 100, complete turn. Alright, I'll take this out. Alright, direct attack with Aquamador, Neo Aquaman. 
uh, Aquamato rather. Neo Aquamato came later. The Woozies. Ah, uh, you got me on that one. He stays alive for one more turn because of his man eater bug. Someone would remain. Alright. Oh shit, wow. Stays alive, get another turn. Oh shit, wow. Ah. Uh, oh shit, I could have used seven tools as a bandit. I'll activate swords of the Rubian Light. Alright, it should be good for a little while. He is not giving this up without a fight. Shit, I could have used seven tools to abandon a monster point. God damn, I'm fast forwarding it too much. Come on, I need something decent. You don't tell some giant, damn it. Wow. Go figure. This will be the last turn. For oh shit, maybe not. He may have me right here. Yeah, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. Yeah, whatever. Looks like I. W it looks like it's a win for me this time. Then I suggest that you balance your deck a little more. Once you find the short the shortcomings of your deck, it, would, it should lead you to victory in your next duel. All right, guys, that was a pretty lengthy episode. Sorry for the loss, and tune in for the next episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duel Soul.